Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Can we just take a moment and look at the beautiful warm glow of my Christmas tree in the background? Today is December 16th and I am coming on because this will be the last video of 2023. Ah! It's like so crazy to me to think that 2023 is over and we are going into a whole new year. For my small business, 2023 was like explosive. I'm gonna scooch over because I wanna have the tree in the background. But yeah, 2023 was one for the books. I launched my YouTube back in March. I started my Patreon. My Etsy really took off. I started making a bunch of my own patterns and I got to connect with so many great crocheters in the crochet community here on YouTube, on Instagram, all over. And it has been such an amazing year. So I just wanted to stop and say thank you guys for an amazing 2023. I literally could not have accomplished all that I did without you guys. So for the last video of 2023, we are going to end it on a cozy and chill note. I know a lot of you love my like crochet with me vlogs, so that is what this video is gonna be I'm gonna take you through some new plushies that I made all of the last orders for 2023 And yeah, it'll just be a chill crochet vlog. So with that, let's get into today's video Guys, I got my cat calendar from Megan Wang. She is an artist here on YouTube that I've been following for a while. And she came out with this adorable cat calendar for 2024. And like every single month, there's like a new design for the cats. And I am just in love. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna and I'm obsessed with cats. I will buy anything that is cat related and yeah. I really am loving how the office is coming together with all of the art. It's so pretty. Don't mind all of the turtle heads. <laughs> hey guys, happy Sunday. I came on because I actually did some non-crochet stuff last night, including coloring in my coloring book. And I just had to show you guys because I know in a previous video I talked about this coloring book and like swatching all of my markers. So I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you kind of like what one of the spreads look like. This coloring book is so cute, guys. I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below, but it's by this artist called Bobby Goods. She's very like popular on TikTok and that's how I found her. I didn't finish, but look at this. Isn't it adorable? Each page has her characters doing something different. So this one is just like a cute little farmer's market. And it's just so adorable. It literally brought me so much happiness doing this coloring. Very, very relaxing. And it was nice to take a break from like crochet. And like, look, this is another spread. It's like her characters at the library. And it's just, it's so fun. So highly recommend this coloring book. Just wanted to show you guys. Look at this little professional setup I got. I will link the light box from Amazon down below. It honestly does the job. Cause like if I bring my camera in, well, I guess we'd have to turn it like this. Like look, that's pretty professional, right? Shay is like, what is going on? But yeah, super cute. Taking some product photos for a very exciting thing that I can't tell you guys about yet, but let this be a little sneak peek. Oh my gosh, Shay, baby, get out of there. There's also a hole at the top so you can get like aerial shots, which is super cool. Really recommend this light box if anyone needs to take really professional product pictures. Hello friends, I came on because I wanted to show you I made a bee for somebody and they had very specific design requests. Here is a picture of my typical jumbo bee. So my customer wanted two stripes instead of three and she wanted it to look more round. I guess she didn't like how like cylindrical it looked. So let me show you guys what I came up with. Here she is. Okay, first off, how adorable is this bee's face? Like so adorable. And then look, this is the body. So it definitely is more like round versus cylindrical. And yeah, I'm really happy with how she turned out. I actually do like the two stripes and I kind of do like this body shape as well. So I think I'm gonna be adding a modification onto my existing like jumbo bee pattern. And I will update the listing on Etsy. So if you have previously purchased my bee pattern from me, you can go ahead, go back onto your Etsy profile and re-download it so you'll get the most up-to-date pattern. But yeah, I just had to show you guys. The bee is so cute, hug check. Like, look how big it is. Literally, she's huge. Like, she's bigger than my literal face. 
so cute. So I put her up on my shelf and she is gonna be packed up and shipped out to her forever home. This brings up a good point. Mr. Mallard here, he is still available for adoption. Editing Jenna put on the screen whether or not he is still available, but someone please adopt him. Hey friends, what's up? Happy Thursday. It's Friday Junior. And you know that one saying where it's like everything happens in threes? Well, this week in my shop, everything has been happening in twos. I wanna show you all of the fun plushies I made for people. Yes, I went ahead and opened up my shop for orders, even though it is literally December 7th. I'm cutting it very close to the USPS cutoff date for Christmas, which is December 16th. But I just got done that big turtle order and I don't know, I feel kind of bored. Like call me crazy, but I feel like I am a little bored now that I got done that huge order. So I opened my shop back up. So let me show you what I've been up to. The first pair are these adorable little ballards. Love these little chonky boys. So cute. Mr. Mallard is up there still. He is still up for adoption, by the way. Shameless plug. Next duo are these adorable little chicken nuggets. Then we have our little mushy boys. Then we have these green axolotls. Super cute. And I thought it was funny that literally the same color got ordered by two different people. Like usually I get different color requests, but no, this time someone wanted two green axolotls, two different people. And then this last one isn't really like a true twin duo, but I will show you guys anyway. Someone ordered a fuzzy regular bee and then a big giant bee. So we could technically call this the last twin duo. Maybe not though, but cute. So yeah, those are all the plushies that I've made so far this week. I am gonna be busy packing up everything. By the time this video comes out though, sadly, I think my shop will be closed. It'll probably be around mid-December when this video comes out, so I'm sorry, but I cannot wait for everything that 2024 has in store for me. I wanna definitely add a bunch of new plushies to my shop. I wanna take custom orders again because I miss making custom. Um, and I have some really, really, really exciting news for you guys. I will be revealing it in a later video because I'm still working out all of the details, but needless to say, a lot of fun things are gonna come in 2024, so definitely stay tuned. If you're not already a subscriber, smash that subscribe button so you can stay in the loop for all of the exciting new videos that are to come. Hey friends, happy Friday. I came on because I just got done designing a new pattern and I had to show you guys. It's a cow! How cute is she? And if you watched my previous vlog, I did make two of these cows previously, a few weeks ago for a customer and people loved it so much and I freehanded the cows because the customer had like very specific design details that she wanted. So I made the pattern and I saved it and then I posted the cows on Instagram and it seems like a lot of people like the cows. So I decided to write up the pattern and I am going to go ahead and list it. Oh my gosh, Shay. I'm gonna go ahead and list it on my Patreon. It's gonna be one of the free patterns for January. So shout out to all my patrons. You guys will be getting the pattern for this cute cow in January. I love how her belly is like super chubby. <laughs> Like it's so cute and like her little legs and I put the legs and the arms crochet directly in so you don't have to sew them. The only thing you need to sew are the two horns, the ears, and the little nose piece. I don't know. I guess the snout is a better way to say it. Shay, do you mind? Oh my goodness. Baby. Oh. This is a baby. Rare footage of me holding Shay. Baby does not like affection. There you go. But okay, back to Mrs. Cow. Um, I also did the pink and white colors because who doesn't love a strawberry cow? I know strawberry cows are really popular. I'm also going to include a bunch of fun accessories and modifications for this cow. This is just your typical cow with the normal horns, but I'm also gonna write up a modification for the strawberry horns so you can make it a legit strawberry cow. And then also I asked my patrons what kind of accessories they would want her to have. So the top 
top answer was a flower crown. So I'm gonna be including the pattern on how to make a flower crown for her. And then they also said maybe include a pattern for like a bag. So maybe she'll get a bag. I think making accessories for plushies is super fun. Like, I don't know. I love adding like a bag, a flower crown, even like clothing. It's super, super fun to dress up your plushie. So if you're not a patron and you don't wanna join, totally fine. I will also list the cow pattern on my Etsy. She's just so cute. I also love her little spots. I was for sure adding spots because I was like, cows gotta have spots. I am slowly packing orders and look at this little packing station I have going on. We got all of the little boxes and I love how the plushies fit so perfectly in these small little boxes. I'll link them down below. I got these boxes from Amazon and totally recommend. They're like the perfect size for my minis. So yeah, slowly getting the orders done. The shelves are clearing out. Still have to pack up a few other plushies up there, but we're getting there. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I came on because last night I made a very like last minute project just for fun. I don't know, I feel like I was a little bored. So I wanted to go ahead and recreate the dragon that I recently made. I'll insert a picture here. I made this for one of my patrons, shout out Katie and Monica. And I really wanted to make a big jumbo version of it because I've seen a lot of like the jumbo, like Loch Ness monsters slash dragons on my Instagram page recently. So I wanted to hop on the bandwagon and do it. So I used Premier Parfait XL yarn in these two colors. I actually had overflow of this green, so that's ultimately why I decided to go with these colors. But after seeing it now, I totally didn't realize that these are like watermelon colors. So maybe I'll add some black seeds onto the dragon to make it like watermelon themed, but she really is cute. So let's do a fun transition. Here we go. And here she is, look at her. So this is the same pattern that I used from before. So it is the sleeping dragon pattern. And literally look how big she turned out. Like I, I'm obsessed. Like she is so freaking cute. And I always see people like hugging their like Loch Ness monster slash dragons like this. And it's just so cuddly and so cute. And I put the wings on the right way this time. Um, the original dragon that I made, I may have put the wings on backwards, but I fixed it for this dragon. And this is what I was telling you guys earlier, like doesn't this look like a watermelon slice? So I feel like I can like add some black seeds to the wings to make it look more watermelony. But yeah, oh my gosh, I love her guys. It is so cool. Like literally look how big she turned out. I used a nine millimeter hook and yeah, I don't know. I think dragons are my new favorite thing to make. Like, it's just so cool. Whee! And then I thought maybe in the new year, since I do like making dragons so much, I could definitely take um, custom requests. So if you wanted like a specific color combination for your dragon, I could definitely do that. So yeah, look out for that in the future. But yeah, I am obsessed. She is so, so cute. I don't wanna give her away, but if she does get adopted, it's fine. And then I just wanna give you guys a close up. Like, look at that, it's so beautiful. Also, if you were wondering how many skeins it took, I was honestly surprised. I only took two skeins of the main body color and then one skein of the secondary, like, spike color. So yeah, it honestly didn't take that much and it turned out really big. I went ahead and put her up on the shelf. So cute, but yeah, definitely recommend this pattern. It is such a cute dragon pattern and it's actually pretty easy. So yeah, I will include it, of course, in the description box if you guys wanna make your own dragon. I love how she looks just chilling on top of the shelf. Like, look at that. She is the perfect little addition. We got Shay over here. Hey, Shay. Hey guys, coming back on because I just got done a custom turtle for somebody. So Monica, if you're watching, shout out Monica, but she wanted to get a birthday turtle made just for herself. It's a birthday treat, so happy birthday. Let me show you guys. Here's the turtle. So to give you some background, Monica said she really loved earth tones and it's not my typical, you know, color palette. But I told her like, yes, I would love to make you an earth tone turtle. So I kind of went with like a key lime pie theme for the 
for the cake itself. As you can see, it's like the light green with like the beige and then the brown. And then of course I did white for the frosting, a cute little green candle. And then the body of the turtle, I went with like a very nice like emerald green color because she did say green was her favorite. And yeah, I love how this turtle turned out. Super cute. I also did green sparkly eyes. And yeah, I'm super excited for Monica to get this turtle. I haven't made one of these birthday turtles in so long, so it was fun to make one again. I haven't made a turtle yet since the big 20 turtle order, so I was definitely taking a little break from turtles. But when she messaged me, I was like, you know what, no, it's fine. We can totally make that for you. So yeah, I'm glad I did. Turned out super, super cute. And of course, I'll link the pattern down below. This is by Zero Gravity Crochet, and it's a super easy pattern. Hey guys, I came on because I just got done making a super cute order for one of my patrons. Shout out Kate. She is one of the patrons that is in the plushie lovers tier. So every month she gets a special plushie made by me. And sometimes it's a surprise. Other times I ask her what she wants. So for this month, she wanted a lavender cow for her daughter. So let me show you. This is the lavender cow. I'm really in love with the colors. I really think lavender cows are adorable. And then look, I also made one of these little lavender flowers for the cow. So it's like actually a lavender cow. Isn't it super cute? The cow pattern is mine. It is my newest pattern. And this lavender flower piece is by Sierra Stitches. She kills the flower crochet game. So definitely head over to her page if you wanna make this cute little lavender. Super adorable. I'm excited for Kate to get her cow off topic, but I don't know if anyone else's cat like doesn't make them biscuits like they need on them, but Shay does not make biscuits. Like I've never seen her make biscuits. I don't even know if she knows how to knead. Like I've never met a cat that doesn't do that. I've been begging her. I'm like, please open up your biscuit factory. Please give me some biscuits. Nothing, no biscuits. Her biscuit factory is like permanently closed. Maybe I'll take her paws and do the kneading gesture and maybe it'll like spark something in her to start kneading but like I don't know I'm deprived hello everybody I'm coming back on because I wanted to show you I finished another page of my Bobby Goods coloring book and I'm really excited to show you guys this spread because I really like the colors that I picked I'm like slowly finding my groove and my style with coloring and yeah wait let me show you guys in case you didn't see my other video oh my swatch cards fell out Okay, I'm showing you my first spread in case you did not see it in my previous video. So cute. I love how vibrant it is. And the scene is super cute. It's like a farmer's market. And then here is the one I just finished last night. Oh my gosh! Isn't it really cute? I really love the little dog's like headband. So yeah, that is my progress so far. The next spread is of the library, which I'm super excited because that is a lot of things to color. I feel like coloring is such a relaxing hobby, especially now that I have some more time with crochet, like winding down for the year. I've been doing a lot more coloring and yeah, I love putting on some like Taylor Swift, 
zoning out and just coloring. So I also came on because I am in the process of making Yoda. This was a request by one of my patrons in the plushy lover tier. So shout out Katie and Monica. So far I have baby Yoda's head done. I'm using parfait chunky yarn of course. I feel like I've only exclusively been using parfait chunky yarn for the past like few months now. This is in the color mint and I love how pastel-y this green looks. So I just got done the head and then I am following this pattern. It is by Med Ami. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but this is her pattern. It's gonna look like this. Super, super cute. She does use acrylic, but I decided to use Parfait Chunky because I just like love the plush look. So we will see how Baby Yoda turns out. So people always ask me um, how to size up plushies because for example the pattern for this baby yoda it technically calls for acrylic yarn and a size 2.5 hook so that means that this pattern originally was created to be like pretty small i think she said the final dimensions would be like 10 centimeters tall if i'm not mistaken so that's pretty small right and i didn't want it that small i want it to size up so the key to making your plushies bigger is simply using bigger thicker yarn and then also a larger hook you don't need to edit the pattern in any way when i first started crocheting i was also super confused by this i'm like do i need to change the pattern like how do i size up my plushies yarn size and hook size that is all you need to adjust and then vice versa if you're working on like a plushie that's coming out pretty big and you want to size down and make it miniature just size down the hook size and use like a thinner smaller yarn so so for this one, for example, instead of a 2.5 millimeter hook, I'm using a four millimeter hook. And instead of like size four acrylic yarn, I am using size six yarn. And I'll show you guys um, what Yoda looks like at the very end and like what the final dimensions are. But as you can see, that is literally all I'm doing to kind of size up the plushie. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I do get that question quite a bit. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys it's super easy to size up or size down. Oh my gosh, guys. So I just got done the body. The head is so big compared to the body. Like, oh my gosh, this is just like really funny, but Hopefully when I add the big ears and like Yoda's little coat, it'll all make sense and look good. Sometimes you just have to trust the process. I've made many plushies where during the process I'm like, this does not look good. But I stuck to the pattern and I held out and waited and most of the time it turns out good. So crossing the fingers. Hey friends, so it is the next day. I'm wearing the same crew neck, don't judge. But I wanted to show you, baby Yoda is done. And this is baby Yoda! Oh my gosh, guys. I'm honestly really obsessed with how he turned out. Like, I'm super, super satisfied. I told you guys earlier that I was, like, a little nervous. I was like, I don't know if the head is going to be, like, unproportionate with the body. But no, it turned out great. I'm just so happy with how he looks. And look at his little feet at the bottom. It's so cute. I highly recommend the pattern. If you're looking for a good baby Yoda pattern, I will link it down below. But yeah, I am obsessed. Also guys, Mr. Mallard is officially the last plushie of 2023 that I have to make slash fulfill slash send out. I can't believe that it's almost Christmas. It is the 14th right now and yes we still have like maybe what another week and a half but I feel like it's already here. It's crazy. December is like seriously flying by and I can't believe I fulfilled my last order for the year. I'm really really proud of myself because this year I didn't burn myself out during the holidays. I like set a strict limit and I I got all of my orders out by the USPS deadline of December 16th. It feels so amazing. I have cheated a bit and have accepted some orders that will roll over into 2024. And I did let my customers know that I probably wouldn't be able to fulfill it in time for Christmas or the holidays and they said it's totally fine. So I'm excited to be working on those orders with like no stressful, you know, deadline looming over me. I can just make them whenever I find time. But with that being said, I just wanted to give a huge 
huge shout out to everybody who's purchased from my shop, whether it be a pattern, whether it be a plushie. Literally, if you even visited my Etsy shop, watched my YouTube videos, followed me on Instagram, liked one of my posts, literally just interacted with my account in any way, thank you so, so much. 2023 has literally been one of the best years ever, and I seriously have all of you guys to thank. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Crochet by Jenna would not be what it is without you guys, and I really want to just say thank you so, so much. You guys are the best! Mr. Mallard also says thank you so much. He's so cute! I feel like this video might come out after the holidays and after New Year's, but if I am ambitious and get this out before the new year, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy and safe holiday season. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your year. I hope everyone gets to have some time off and spend time with loved ones. And I'm wishing everyone a happy new year. Love you guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!